and now we head to the Grand Decider, the place where the playing field is equal. S tag and blame dead in lower tunnels to Shoxi, and we hit the ground running here to open up Mirage. Yeah, Vitality gonna head fast into this A side. That Molotov will do nothing to stop them. JKS may have even been good to save it for a post part or to stop a bomb from going down, at least delay it. But right now, Cole are all cleaned up through this connector. It's gonna be a CT plant with open lines of sight for Vitality. I don't see a way this can go wrong. That's how the worst rounds could always begin. But no kit here. One flash, bit of armor. And you just got to go in together. Shox is in the open, holding this line. Eventually going to give it up. Vitality not giving you a way back in. But in the CT sneak, Apex anti flash. Got to be careful. They're walking up on him. Ooh, he's trying to get it back under control. And Zai Wu will come in with one. JKS left trapped in the sandwich, and he's pincered by CT and Ramp. He is a dead man. Shoxy makes it happen. Nice. And so Vitality find themselves a pistol to try and build back a little bit of the confidence that was robbed away back on overpass. Yeah, nice round out of Shoxy. Right, the double down under complexity. They can't hunt these kills. Vitality steal the pistol and you know I, that, that can mean a lot harry right both teams to start strong on the opposing team's map pick have run away with dominant halves 12 threes and 11 fours so vitality a bit of momentum in their pocket a bit of confidence back in their favor and who knows what can happen it's that or it's the reverse sweep cole four stuff nothing new here more than experienced on this barrage but not going to be able to put a stop to that one. Blame and Poison, however, fire off a little bit. Poison, they're up close, mate. Careful, no scopes, won't connect. And it's the double jump for Masuta to get that kill and keep things under wraps for Vitality. Still got smoke down a CT that NATO's going through. S tag cut off the catwalk, and NATO can't muscle through the MAC 10. Open plant, or oh, sorry, close plant again for CT, but Vitality have all the real estate in the world. Yeah, you know, if Blame F goes and flushes out this CT player, low HP Masuta, maybe there's a chance. Oh, Masuta, you little slimy, slimy devil. He gets away, not unscathed, but he gets away, and the numbers alone make this an undoable clutch now for Blame F. I was going to say, even if he dealt with Masuta, Apex would have never given him the fight from Palace. So it would have all hinged on, you know, tapping the bomb, forcing a fight. Instead, Blame F falls and Vitality find that conversion after all. And there's a more fired up looking Apex. Yeah, right. Perhaps fired up for the right reasons now. Yeah, it was uh, it was quite the disparity between those first and second maps of, of just confusion on overpass. Like, how are we not getting any teams on rounds? How do they seemingly have every read, every stack? And Vitality trying to play a bit loosey-goosey on that T side was not good. This is a great map for it, though. Apex trying to take that cross shot. Little grenade to soften up complexity, but this is never supposed to be a round that gets out of control for Vitality. Only pistols, no armor on the most part. Running and gunning. Mac 10's best bet. Five on three. And the bomb going into B as soon as NATO tries to escape. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you're just hedging your bets, right? You're just hoping that by leaning in towards this A site, <laughs> Vitality come to you, and they do. But not in the fashion you were hoping for. These are just players faking the A play. Now, with only one player left, you don't really care which bomb site you end up on. You're feeling like you can beat NATO regardless. Yeah, Shox is trying to get that gun at the end, perhaps, right? Hunt this kill for the money bonus and then grab a Galil for the bonus round. If not, the NATO will be able to sneak it. Sharks reloads, more info for NATO, but just not being given anything. As soon as Shox sees you, he's going to have you dead. Ding, and doesn't matter. Shox takes everyone on the A site and the gun as well to boot. 3 0 for Vitality. But the AWP is already in, and Poison, he was the man of the map back on Overpass. That CT AWPing was a delight. Yeah, we're going to need to see something like that out of him again, right? You know, uh, especially when you're up against Zaiwu on the other side. But at least in this first round, you're going to be the only one donning that AWP. It's the bonus round attempt for Vitality, if you'd call it that. 
with a lot of AKs purchased up right away. Doesn't really feel like a bonus. Tag could be dropping nades here to try and help out those A players as Con crawls coming in. Doesn't matter, he just gets domed, doesn't he? So I Wu's found one out on that A side of the orb. It's got to do something, everything. In fact, jumping up is audacious as Kyojin comes through the palace smoke and three on two to the favor of the French. Suta heard that drop, he knows what's up. And Blade trying to climb into the window once again. Woodwork, tippity tappity, and Masuta hears everything. Big ears in middle right now. Nato full flash, here they come, and he's barely recovered from the blind before the shot comes through. Is this going to be another dominant start for Vitality once they get the ball rolling? It feels like it, and I don't know what's happening. I, you know, I don't think we've really had many a series play out like this, where one yeah. team just chains together like nine rounds in a row, and then, and then suddenly, you know, the CTs try to do what they can to flip flop a couple of rounds their way. Even think about it this way, right? Like, not just in terms of trading gun rounds and going back and forth momentum swaps, which none of which we've had. Se <laughs> second round forces have not been a thing in this series, right? Whoever takes the pistol has just been converting and yeah. running away with it. That's so rare to see in Counter-Strike right now and in the group stage as well for, for many of these teams, four spies are prevalent. So that's, uh, you know, so, yeah, nature is healing. CS is returning to normality, but for how long as Vitality look to give us a nice quick 5-0 in this round? It's all on the, the next fight for Cole, right? Put a stop to these aggressive tees. Try and damp their confidence, because right now it's flowing. Oh. And already, you know, this is a, a much better look at a Kyojin. He's already got as many kills now as he did in the entirety of Overpass. So just let that sink in. Just open the door for the sink. Let it right through. Of course, Overpass was a 25-round game. And in it, he managed five frags with just five rounds into Mirage, and he sat at five and one. Leave him alone! I'm saying, though, this oh, is yeah. good. It's Absolutely. nice. It's an important Absolutely. thing to note, mate. Kyojin wasn't sat there going, yeah, you know, it was a bit of a mixed bag on the day, but Overpass, you know, not too shabby. Nice five and 23 out of me there. Like, yeah. you know, he would have been, he would have been kind of beating himself up about it, keen to, to right his wrongs. Absolutely. And he's already well and truly on the path, Hugo. Good for him. more than I can say about you. Oh, oh. It's getting personal now, yeah. I mean, starting strong, right? You were never going to beat your Vertigo score, that's to say for sure. Well, maybe you can now. 5-0, and, oh, and here is the round. It means everything for complexity. Again, Poison, he was able to get one out of CT last time, uh, but then jumped up into Kyojin. Suter in Palace this time around. Quick A smokes, but players not to be found as Vitality will not commit. They send Shoxi B. Kyojin going to join, uh, join him eventually. Three up in the palace of the bomb. Vitality really trying to sell this double fake. They throw Nate, they show B, and they go back to that A site. All it's done is draw poison back, but that smoke's about to fade. And his sight liner begins to open, trading onto Masuta, and he catches Iwu down the ladder. Poison! That's more like it, buddy. Yeah, the AWP comes in, a swing in for complexity. And it's what might find them their first round right now, unless Kyojin can do the impossible. He was the, the guy over towards B with shocks, helping him try to sell that double fake. Well, now he's got to pull a bit of a fakie of his own and come up clutch in the 1v4. Poison there to close. Four in the round for the guy. And the AWP comes out and it delivers in spades. Complexity up onto their first. Vitality aren't going to be forcing you know, complexity to fall for those ones. Not yet, not at 5-0. They're not panicking at the moment. Yeah, it's a little rough as well because I think Apex had like full faith in Zaiwu and that little movement play to try, you know, pop out under scaffolding was going to deal with the AWP. Didn't look like they were ready for Zai. You know, they weren't even considering the chance that Zaiwu could have lost that. And Apex was a little late on the swing to try and trade it as a result. You know, it meant that Poison actually had enough time to get that second yeah. and then third shot off. But it's all well and good, right? You'd rather figure this out nice and early on while there's still time. It's only one round. That's what you're telling yourself right now. 
Poison scoped up on Palace once again. This time only Apex there. Zaiwu is instead working this ramp control and Poison bests him. Even with the flash obscuring his vision, he's still good to deliver that opener onto Zaiwu, no less. They will deal with a player over here on short and follow up onto Poison in the connector. Now, this kind of spreads your forces thinly if you're Vitalik. You've got a mixed bag of results so far, but Apex is spicing things up in at this A bomb site, dropping onto JKS and now getting out of there to go and get the bomb. It all gets weird with NATO Safix pushing the apartments like this. Timing is going to be everything. Apex, I can't imagine he wants to go back to A, but he's caught this player pushing through the apartments. And now Vitality know where NATO is. They know they've got him trapped and they're going to go looking for this kill. Oh, oh uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, Hello? Yep, yeah, there it is. Shox had his knife exactly out firstly. As planned. Why does Shox have his knife out? Secondly, how does NATO not hear that? Everything goes up in the air. Shox gets time to pull out the primary. The nade could be good if only the plant was low. Apex is now with Shox standing on 20 health, and that's enough to fire in the final bullet. Full faith for Shox in that round. I, 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 can't, I can't compute, Harry. I can't understand. They knew NATO was there. Shox knew NATO was there. He still didn't think he'd be on the stairwell. Knife out. Good night. And Poison's picks all in vain. Look, what is this? NATO should have heard that. Don't know if there's comms going on. Don't know if there's something else distracting him. But everything about that round for both sides, yeah, Shox laughs. Like, he's like, wow, I, I, I won that? Okay. <laughs> that was almost very awkward with NATO, you know, a few seconds earlier to T-spawn, and he might kill Apex with a bomb there, and the entire round is up in the air. Instead, it's been softened by Vitality, 6-1. to one. And they hold on. Uh-oh. Little ace stack with pistols. The aggro has been ascertained. Shocks bringing the pain and takes down JKS. He knows there's more to be found close on the ramp. So that flash play does nothing with the Molotov down. Vitality up and lead. Oh. Yeah, they'll catch one of these orbs in mid window. And it's all starting to spiral out of control now. Any hope you had of, you know, squeaking a little partial bypass vitality is very quickly dissipated unless NATO Safix can really defy the odds here over in the apartments. For a moment, you thought he was going to go unchecked, but Kyojin jumps up, gets the info, locks in the round on the back of it. Can they get out of here with this M4? Apex dead, poison doubling up, doesn't even have armor behind this. And yet he still managed to get you out of the round with not one, but two guns now. So you'll take that all day long. Vitality is still up to seven, though. And so you better hope that these saved guns and the AWP coming through can make all the difference in the next. Yeah, another side round for Poison Right. It comes in with big impact. It was uh, it was the orb finding picks earlier and still falling on dead ears. And this one's no exception. A couple of kills taken to the grave. And a gun or two saved here for complexity. It's fine. It's not out of control yet, but it's certainly, certainly starting to lead that way. Vitality picking up pace. And so much of this right now is coming off of Shoxi. You know, we, yeah. we had him giving us little sad, pouty faces earlier on camera that was really emotional and it didn't look nice. You know, like, well, he looked great, but you know, yeah. no one no one likes seeing Shox look like that. Um, and, and so now we're getting a much more confident look at this guy. And, and he's really been the dude to create so many of these opportunities. Yeah, we know Vitality is such an emotional team. Like, what a roller coaster it's been seeing their fan cams through the ups, through the downs, through the loops as well. And for Cole, it's been pretty, you know, flat faced, pretty, you know, uh, focused in the entire time. Now, missed window smoke there as highlighted for Vitality, but they don't care. No one's mid. No info gained or lost for Cole. Shox is walking up. It's a bait play. It's a player on the balcony you've got to worry about. Molly comes in, though, so he won't activate yet. So I woo, if he stays on that angle, the kill could come to him. Meanwhile, Cole want info, they want space. Yeah, I mean, you know, you've given up this mid control, as you say, so you better be taking real estate while this happens. And that's exactly what both Blame and JKS have done over here towards A, the aggro set up towards Palace and Ramp. And if you catch this kill onto Masuta, you don't hear anything else on the Ramp side, 
Might even feel enticed to start to shuffle this setup around. Oh, what? no! How? Masuda was never ready for that, but only the dink from Blame F gives him that fraction of a second to adjust back. Poison now at triple, oh. tries to get out of there, but Zai is going to find him. JKS has got to come up top. Trump's here. Masuda has him trapped, and Shoxi's going to trade the kill. Just wasting enough time to get Shox in position so that that was never more than a one and done for JKS. Yeah, you can even, you know, that's good enough, really. Or well, not good enough, obviously, to win the round, but that's all he could have done, right? Take that kill with him, maybe live a bit longer, but such a quick trade from Shox. He's just hopping over stairwell. This guy is hunting them down. This guy wants to face Gambit, wants to show and teach them a lesson, maybe. And that's the big fear, right? With Gambit waiting in those quarterfinals, nothing is safe, nothing is sacred. And even a win here is no guarantee to a run in the playoffs. Oh my goodness, Shocks, leave him alone. Three on one, NATO will save the Shocks. He is not taking prisoners. Dead or alive, and he chooses dead. I'm sorry, I still can't get over this. Yeah, like, the dink, oh. When, when that's how your round opens, I don't know, man. <laughs> it really feels like nothing's going right for complexity again. It's like we're back on vertigo. All the annoying util that you can expect from Vitality, but maybe that could be the change for Cole, throwing it around to fight for middle. Of course, now, if this is going to be the one, as they look towards connector and window, Vitality are leaning A. We've got this fake again. Shox is selling them round after round, keeping players attentive at the wrong uh, position. It's only JKS left on that A site. Poison's going to smoke B, but Shocks don't care. He's going right through. Yeah, last time he was punished for this. And so this time he shows a little more restraint in the smoke walk. He sits in it. Here's the flash coming, dodges it, and is looking for this opener. Now it's a nasty 1-2 setup, right? Even if he's ready for Poison at bench, even if... He somehow finds the AWP. You hope that Nato can trade this out. The timing gets a little weird. Nato Safik's oh, gonna swing yeah. now and puts his shot in his back. So now with the B play, not working, not selling this ruse. And in fact, Cole are even rotating poison over to A. They know what's happening. They know what's up. Zaiwu with one. Oh. It's tried to get them in, but it's not really pried this bomb site too wide. Kyojin on the bomb might just get peaked from CT, especially as Apex is juggling nades around. Kyojin's going to try and cross, but is he ready for the close player? No, JKS beats him. And complexity yeah. pull through with a second round. You know, I, I admire that uh, Vitality are trying different things, right? They could just be brute forcing bomb site. It is Mirage after all, but they're, they're throwing in fakes. And yeah, okay, both fakes have actually been the rounds that Cole have won. Or, you know, two of them. It was that, you know, same play where Shocks went B apps, got mollied, and Vitality popped out Palace late after smoking that A site to start. Yeah, it's a similar kind of idea in this one, right? Without the, the telegraph the smokes on A showing you started there. And that's unlocking. The shocks get caught by NATO's bout jump up as well. We've seen Cole do that a lot. You know, double playing the apartments, giving up middle, not playing short with the AWP. Well, now they have a double AWP. Now they may be fighting for mid. As they're expecting to see Vitality there. That's exactly what the call is. Jumping in is Poison, trying to get involved. Smokes a potential Molotov. Vitality flashed out, won't commit themselves. It's only Kyojin, and he should be dead. There's a nice shot out of Poison. He's full of them today and already starting to lean a third to B. Cole, they're starting to read. They're starting to understand what Vitality are up to. Oh, Nato just saw a couple of boys there on that jump up. Mollied at the truck, but he'll extinguish it. And so now Vitality, you know, this is almost like a bit of a mind game between them and Nato. Oh, Apex, hey, buddy. Trying to come in on this short wrap, and he's done it at a pretty alarming pace. They should hear this, but Nato caught looking in the apartments, is blindsided. Apex could be on to a second. Oh. JKS isn't even looking. And so Apex has opened up the B play. Oh, oh the timing on that nade pull. Shocks will trade it out at least, and it's the double orbs left up in this retake. They use the nade, nade as a smoke, but even then, Zaiwu's found through the lip of the boxes. And Shoxi's got to come up clutch. Oh. Bomb plant going in. Shox, as we say, double orb to go up against. It's a weird one. Shoxi waiting for a shadow, waiting for the face. 
No one's moving now, and Poison will swing oh, out quick. and seal the deal. Complexity, they claim a third. You've got to admire that nade call, right? That was perfect. They, they were able to grab the, the bomb cross to the site with the help of the smoke, only for a moment, of course. But uh, it all means nothing as Poison pops with the orb again. He has been the hero of this series for Complexity, no doubt about it. You know, it feels like, obviously, with Config gone, we've seen a lot more rifling out of Poison, especially on those T sides, right? Um, yeah, look at that. Still hits the shot, second too late. And, uh, you know, even even despite that, Poison has been great on the rifles and T sides on Vertigo especially, but when we get it back in his element on the CTAWP, we get what we want to see. He mollied that window smoke as well, so it didn't bloom correctly. Shocks. The man of the hour closed out in the 1v2 by Poison and picked up to start this one. Colt are starting to find success. And this game is tightening up. It's no longer a dominant win for Vitality where they can get away with everything they want to and more. Kola fighting for it to the nail. They know what's on the line. And Masuta lines up blame. Four on four now. He resets or fakes the fact that he does. But he will be late stabbing Con as this A play comes in. Yeah, S Tag in a very out there position. He is relying on his palace player keeping him alive so that he can scope up on ramp. He's dead to Zaiwu. Poison will deal with the con wrap. And now they have to try and flush out not only this orb, but the player under Valk. JKS waiting here, dead, spammed by Apex. They now need to try and find Poison. And he just won't give up this bomb site without a fight. Oh. Ooh, the flicks are fast, but none of them landing. NATO from CT oh. had a chance, but it's so ugly. And so Poison, he's done it all so far. He's got to do it all over again now. 1v2 and Zaiwu shuts him out. It's a round for Vitality after all. It gets real nasty yeah. there in the middle. What more can you ask for for Poison, man? It's all we're highlighting right now, but it's all that matters for Complexity. Another three piece of a round. This is a random connector there. I don't know if Vitality made the call to speed it up. That one seemed like a, a surprise, right? Making a lot of noise on the late mid flank. And NATO flashed off, comes to it late, and he's not able to perform. If he gets even a kill there, sets Poison up for the round. But instead, yeah, just brush it off. Oh, dear. Sink. Do I have a gun? No. <laughs> no. Do they? Yes. Oh, probably none then. Apex, they're coming your way, buddy. Oh. And it's the lineup. Oh, that's such a horrible start. Apex has made them tumble. And Zai Wu has secured another opener. Poison, he had four people here over in this A bomb site. Now he's the only survivor. And they're not even coming to A yet. Poor NATO as well. Guy finally leaves B. He goes, I'm just not even getting to fight anyone. I occasionally get to shoot shocks in the back when he runs away. And that's the extent of Ooh. it. So I'll, I'll come A with you this round, Blame. We'll, we'll Palace put... Oh, <laughs> double lined up. Yeah. Mowed down by Apex. The round is done, by the I way. Mean, Poison is saving. Yeah, last time Blame was in Palace, he got that dink onto Misuta and just died to the, uh, the a one bullet AK. Oh, it's not getting any better. Shocks clears under again from both sides. Poison gets one on the exit making sure he doesn't miss that. But the double scope, oh, it eludes him. Shocks is hunting them down where they live. 10 to three. No toddlers stopping this man. My goodness. He ran right for the back corner. He was ready for that one. And even a gap in the smoke, Dink does nothing when it's Zywoo's AWP on the other side. And yeah, we're getting a little more hype. <laughs> He's in well, the so I'm pretty sure, like, because they lined up so badly, uh, NATO either dinked JKS or JKS dinked NATO, one or the other. Doesn't, Doesn't help. help. No, right? I think you're dead anyway. You're both jumping around the corner. And now it's just Eagles, Harry. Now it's just pistols and an SMG for blame trapped under pass. And my tactic might just pass by on this B split. Yeah, the worst thing is Blame can hear all of this, so it's like they know of the impending doom that's about to approach this piece. I, 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 I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry, you're in the wrong place again. All four of them wrapping around the guy. And Apex trying to clear up these mid players does offer an AK up, but that just might, you know, further entice you to look to save here. Oh, it's quite a mess, isn't it, for complexity? It's not the way they wanted it to go after showing such, you know, uh, 
great great recovery on the previous map. It would have been it would have been expected to see Cole just get steamrolled in this series, especially after the way the Vertigo went. But not only do they have the Gajonas to come back and give us a really good fight on that second map, breaking a win streak of vitality as we said earlier, but then they just get shredded on yeah, their go-to map, man. Mirage has been a staple for complexity and more vitality. They brought the nail gun today. And so now we either get a repeat of the overpass scoreline or a repeat of the Vertigo scoreline. I think it's probably the, the Vitality 12-3 yeah. twice. Yes, certainly seems that way. Although we've got the, the full by the double orb. S-Tag with a quiet one here as well as JKS. I mean, you know, I could list well, out the players so who here, are performing. Here's the thing, man. If Why you not look, just list Poison? If you look back at overpass, right, Poison was very much the star, but he had uh, yeah. a wonderful crew around him. It was really S-Tag and NATO that we were looking to. Now, Poison is still keeping it up. He's still keeping that same face oh, showing, but we just need those supporting characters, those supporting acts around this AWP. Oh, they're in window. They are in window. They are trying to flush out this AWPer, and they know where this guy oh. is. Shox, oh. it's just a tag, and Shox is going to spam him out. They don't know about JKS at ramp. They never uncovered ramp, but at the same time, they never cleared it either. And JKS oh. loves ramp pushes. Oh. They flash him off. Apex going to find him. It's S tag and NATO suffix in a 2v4 retake at the A bomb site. Yeah, window ain't broke, but Cole might be. Can't get back through that murder hole. Four on two, and Vitality fan out looking for these frags. Where's the flank? They've already found it, Kyoji. To get back on double digits, not locks in NATO and now S attack. Five kills to his name and looking for a fourth round that feels like it's destined to elude you. Vitality, duplexity moving into a T side, and with really only poison showing up to the party so far. Where are the rest of the gang? Yeah, you could just forget Vertigo at this point. Uh, sorry, overpass at this point and go, yeah, you know, Vitality are too dominant. 12 3 halves, great maps out of them. Can they close, though? That's the question. Should be easy, not always in reality. Complexity with elimination on the line have a lot to show, a lot to prove. Poison flashing them through. Jungle S-Tag with the opener jumping into the sight. Shocks, too many targets, not enough time. And Apex not... Oh, my goodness! Oh, two, three oh, attacks! Oh, oh. Apex holds strong. He's got four in the round. And it's Vitality to lock in a pistol. That should have been done right there. Do I, yeah, I am lost for words. Apex came into this, you know, flapping his tongue around, looking good, but he's eating out of coal right now, that's for sure. Look oh at this, my. bro, disgusting! How? That was Cole's way back in. Oh, yeah, no, he's yeah. up. He's walking All around. Right. Apex is leaving the building. Yeah, he's they, out. They, they, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> they are having an incredible game, rolling back the years, as it were. Force by up for complexity. Once more, you know, we've been in this situation already. If they don't find success here, they're going to have one chance with the rifles to embark on a mammoth comeback. Yeah, and even though, you know, we're in a time of forced buys finding success, we said this earlier, this series has not been an example of that. It feels like old CS, Harry. It does feel like old CS in a way, and, right? And you've got Shox and Apex fragging out. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Well, like no we're back in the, uh, the golden years. No time like the present. And what a gift this is from Vitality. Cole, can they break the curse and find a force? Or oh, a vitality always destined for dominance? There's a little bait and switch set up here in Con. Might never see the light of day if Complexity do just commit to this cat walk up and move in towards the B split, which is what it looks like they're poised for. You gotta get past Shoxy first, though. You gotta get past Shox. And they try to chase him down. They do get him out of the ladder room. Now Masut is here attempting to fill the void. The shock hole, as some might call it. S tag plugs that hole, and now the B bomb site is oh, okay. opened up. All right. Koji, what have you got for us then? Apex one behind him, one in front. Up. Quick 1v1 available. They haven't got the bomb yet. He knows it. He knows it. S-Tag is close, but he's only baiting for blame in the back line with that spam. All right. Forced by one. Now we're talking. And now Cole are believing. It's all they've got. You can never afford to give up. And their pro league journey comes to an end if, uh, if this one falls as well. So 
Well, that gives you time to crack with Cold Zero. You'd rather long this one out. Nice deeds for S-Tag as well. Already having a bit of a resurgence in this T side. Will it mean much though? Blade opens up and doubles down to Zywu and Apex. Oh, they heard the molly hit, uh, yeah, Masuta over on short, so they know that he was just peeking, just creeping up. And, well, the only guy left is a B. They've seen him, they've got him trapped. Poison's gonna deal with him. And so complexity, they can at least look forward to six at a bare minimum here. Still leaving them, you know, seven rounds behind that of this Vitality squad. You've at least got more breathing room than you ever had back on Vertigo when we first saw this scoreline between these two teams. There, you know, it was one round lost, game was over. Here, you've got a little bit of a margin for error. It's running him up in middle. We haven't had many mid fights in this map. Oh, you can't see, it's over triple. Oh, the connector hides Zywu's head from blame. They're going to smoke it off and they don't know where they're dying from. But Cole still should be able to run into B for free, even though Vitality are running that rotate to try and pad the site. It's already too late. Oh, yeah, this is par ah. for the course. This All is fine. He gets two dings off, but not a single kill. Complexity onto six, as we say, but now the guns come out once more. So this is where, you know, we don't have the AWP in Zywu's hands just yet. I wonder what Poison's choice is going to be instead. Looking like he's going to run that salvaged org in this round. And so it's AWPless into this first buy round. Now, if Complexity get this, if they move on to seven, break the money of Vitality, and then start to chain together these two-for-one rounds, that's where you start to get worried. That's where this can very, very quickly spiral out of control. If Vitality want to stop that worry from ever happening, they win it right now. They win it right here. He doesn't even leave Khan. They seem aware. He could have run away, but instead he hangs out and takes down Poison with him. Zai Wu, the heavy hitter, removed on complexity side. Blame hears the escape, and he tries to take space by walking the smoke. No one's looking. He sees a default player, and they see him, but too late. Blame dinked, turns back to CT, and that's when Kyojin keeps A under control. Shox is boosted on B's alone. If Zywu can sell anything, bait them in, draw them away, that would be lovely, but Shock's only good for one. Zywu has crept out, and they have no idea the bomb plant could be denied right here, right now, and there it is. JKS falls, NATO trades, and it's a 1v1 against Kyojin. Yeah, quiet game for Nato, but this T-side, this is his chance to right those wrongs. Kyojin creeping up, out into the open, and Nato is going to close it with the spray. Ooh. Seven on the board for complexity, and this is them taking not one, not two, but now multiple steps in the right direction. Yeah, that, that had to come through. That spray was scary, but rounds around, wins a win. That's all Cole are thinking about, getting those numbers back on the board if Nato falls there. That'd be a, a sad way to go out, as it probably would have meant the series would come to a close. Now, Cole can keep believing, keep fighting for it. Another round over towards A with the smokes. Mid info denied, double smoke, triple smoke set up in middle four, complexity. They throw top mid, cat and window, really trying to keep Vitality out of middle. So they go, fine, you want mid? Have it, we'll stack A. It's only pistols after all. But Cole are walking into the lion's den. Luckily, they got the tranquilizer darts at the ready. No hurry here either. The kills are all being delivered to NATO. Oh. And even when the D comes through, the trade is instantaneous, leaving Zyru to get backstabbed. If it wasn't blamed to grab him from his chair instead. 8 to 13. Maybe steps. Mm, but suddenly, you know, just five rounds between you. And as we say, like, you've got Vitality right where you want them, right? Every round that you win only leads them down this path of partial investments even further. So whenever you win a rifle round, it kind of hits. It kind of feels like a two for one. And so, like, really, you know, there's only like, two rifle rounds between 
this in an even scoreline. Running with that kind of line of thought. Shock starting one of the orbs in this round. The other out on Zai Wu, and he's taking it into the apartments, oh, looking for a peek. On to JKS, who is just waiting for the time being. Very slow round for Cole. They know how much this matters, right? They know that once you open the door to Vitality, they're like a salesman. There's no closing it. There's no stopping it once you've let them in. Ooh. Or is that vampires? I always get them confused, but... No one wants to be that first man to fall. And so it's a slow mid take out of complexity. Oh, Ooh, no. The timing on the name pull for S tag is brutal. And that's how the man advantage is given up. Yeah, that double setup, right? He sees the orb fire. He thinks he has a second to throw a flashbang to get him off the angle. Instead, it's Masuta quickly peeking off the back. Apex waiting for a window boost, and he might get delivered what, exactly what he wants. There's the bomb on its own on ramp. That could decide the round. Cole, it doesn't matter where your kills come through. They have to come through right here, right now. Zaiwu back to CT, longer he lives, the more room Kyojin has on this form, the more time ticking away from the favor of Cole and Blame's been cut down by the rotation. Now Vitality flooding the bomb site. They know that they've locked this one in and Shox is here to confirm it. Only eight of Sapphics left. And even if he gets this kill, there's no recovering the round. There's no moving away from the reality of that bomb getting dropped on ramp. Can't hunt the orb either. There's just no saving face, no saving grace, and Zai Wu closes the 14th. Well, the by eco, by eco, Harry, it's been revolted by Vitality. I don't know what happened there for Cole as well, right? Like, they set up for a B play with, with you know, one dude throwing in the late mid utils, maybe come up Catwalk with Poison on the Orb, and then something changes in the wind, and they completely change their mind. They go back to A, and in all of that time of going slow, going low, uh, you know, all that space has been taken by Vitality. They had deep B control with the AWP setup in Misuta. They had Kyoji down on ramp. Vitality had so much more space than Cole were ready for on the ramp retake. They've already got to forget about it. Put, it, put it to the back of your mind and try and keep this game raring on. Yeah, we, we need that kind of hero to emerge, you know. We need someone to be our man for the recovery effort right now. Because if you end up losing this one, you're staring down the barrel of Vitality claiming this series in spite of your best efforts. They pick up the pace, they want to go faster, right? As you say, the slow pace last time felt like it come back to hurt them. And so this time, they accelerate into B. Now they're still going to get past Apex. They don't know about it. Oh. He's going to catch the AWP with a knife Ooh. out at short. But JKS will recover. This might just be a save out of Vitality. It wouldn't surprise me if it yeah. were. The money is still in a very weird spot. To try and stop that, that two for one round effect, like kind of rolling over. They will just hold on to the weapons here and give it a go in the next. So the change of pace out of complexity is nice. They they go fast down cat, helped out by you know some of the uh, early engagements that we get coming through. The fact that you're able to get you know guys like Poison all the way down the short side with the smokes in. You get Zai Wu out of the window. Poison Rears is headed to B. That you felt cracked the site wide open. Yeah, that felt exactly what they wanted to do last round. It didn't go their way. I don't know, like I said, I don't know what changed to make them pull out of B apps, but that was exactly it, right? The, as you said, the mid smokes to get the all pub cat. Lots of attention on B from the rush and good trade work as well. If Apex gets a kill there, if he even takes down Poison or drops one of the site players, then you consider that retake. But even with a flank coming in through T-Spawn, Vitality had a double orb. They don't want to go for it. They're fine with giving that up. They've got a little more room to... Oh, heavy middle boosting ladder. Double boosting ladder. Gonna get there before Blame has any idea. Oh, that might be something, right? He sees Apex running window, and he's wondering, what does that mean? Is there more control towards Catwalk, or won't, uh, won't worry Complexity, who are just going through the motions on this A site, forcing another save. save within seconds? Yeah, the outcome of this round is decided okay. instantly, like right away. Right. Wonderful little wombo combo of nades and the tag to shocks back in CT. He gets dinked through the boxes. Yeah. 
And playing lands that little belter of a flick in middle. And so this was a round that never was, essentially, right? Vitality showed up hoping to play, and they're immediately sent looking for results in the next round. Complexity are giving this everything they've got. And, and finally, we're starting to get this supporting cast around Poison, right? Bit by bit. And especially since they've gotten onto the T side where rounds can end in a matter of kills, right? You don't have to get all five all of a sudden, mate. Woo! They're having a much easier time. Vitality coming through with another save. That's only going to entice the buy back out of them. And it's going to keep, constantly keep them, you know, with their backs against the wall in terms of the money. Now, they can keep the pressure on. But up against 14, and with Complexity already having more than enough money banked up, it does sometimes get me a little bit worried, right? Because the pressure of having buys all the time matters a lot less when your opponents are going to be forcing till the end of this game regardless, right? If they lose one round, even if their money's broken, mate, they're still coming through with the full buy. So a little nerve-wracking, a little scary, especially with double digits getting secured. You come back out with the double AWP again. Yeah. The comeback's still on for Cole. Kyojin, now they get the ladder boost off once more, and Apex gets out alive. Luckily, that was a window smoke for Cole that gave him the room to do so. Maybe having a run boost here. Poison lobs a flash. Blame yeets himself in the middle. Nothing to be seen yet. And still this double ladder as well. They're not doing anything with it. They're not, they're not trying to fight mid early. That's often what you'll see, like an orb go up there and fight Cac really quickly. And, and you know, T's are confused how the orbs, they're so quick. No, it's more just a bait and switch with this double setup between the two young guns. Apex re-smoked at mid, loses all that info. The con smoke as well as Cole group back on uh, up on the A-bomb site. It's just Blade doing what he does best, coming through connector in the mid round to try and find these right timings to backstab. But it's going to go both ways. As he activates, so can they. Up in catwalk, uh, moving out through the ladder room. They spot Blade going through the smoke. Uh-oh, the info's there. Vitality now know what's up. Yeah, still the opener is found by Blame F and with not a trade in sight. It's all coming out of this next bit of contact. There's Masuta with one, but with two more knocked out immediately after and a double AWP and a two on four retake. I think this is once oh, again no. going to force the save out of Vitality. Oh my goodness. If only Zaiwu knew. I don't know why you don't give it the pot shot, right? Like at least try and get that kill. Fire through. It's your only way to even consider that well, round. So the other thing that's scarier about this getting out of hand and all these saves from Vitality is like with each round that passes and with each round being pretty clean for complexity, they're going to get to a point where like it's always worthwhile hunting. I mean, I think they should be hunting even yeah. heavier now, if I'm being honest. It surprises me that they're being so reserved here. If you take away, you know, even one of these guns, it has huge implications for Vitality looking to the future. Well, you also know it's double order, right? So you don't really want to be... It's, it's a lot harder to hunt these AWPs, especially on Mirage. Like, there's so many awful angles to try and clear. It could be anywhere. And so, yeah, call at the same time. They're just thinking about their next round. They're probably talking about what they want to do, what ad uh, adaptation they want to make to keep this comeback rolling on. This is super impressive for Cole, right? The first force by win we've seen all series, it feels like, at least in those second round conversions. And they've built off the back of it. Five in a row. Vitality found a 14th. Now a three round streak for Cole. We keep having these saves out of Vitality. They keep surrendering early. And uh, now uh, another fight in middle for Zai Wu. Molotov onto the smoke. But Collar in the rush. The run boost again. This could be a pick for Zaiwu, but the flash is good and the run boost is bad. If anything, that favors Cole. It lets him get out behind the boxes, not on top this time. If they were, that might have been Zaiwu's. Instead, mid now conceded by the Frenchman. These orbs still trying to get involved. The flash pushes poison back and Zaiwu dons the angle even for a moment. Shox hasn't moved a muscle in ladder holding the swing. Vitality know what's going on. They're just scared of lurkers, right? This is the time of the round where maybe a palace player pops out or someone in Biaps tries to create some kerfuffle. Right now, that's not the case. Collar grouping B for the full execute as Blame comes up through. Oh, Vitality oh. have just lent 
Zai Wu back towards this A bomb site, leaving three players far removed from this go. play. Masuta is effectively alone. Now, Shox can come back and help him somewhat, but he's on this weird position because he knows Blame F is let loose in middle. Shox misses oh, timing. No. So Kyojin's found on the rotation. This is another round where you just want to say, but Apex has already thrown himself to the Wolves. And so in the blink of an eye, it's only shocks left. If you weren't hunting before, believe me, baby, you're hunting them now. You want to try and take this AWP away because you know the implications it's going to have. Complexity are on to 12 and Vitality, they are crumbling on this CT side. Yeah, look at the spread, man. Look at the mini map. There is nowhere to go. There is nowhere to hide. Shox is a dead man. He just doesn't know it yet. Oh, it doesn't clear the corner. And Nata removes that orb. Also, as you said, Vitality just left the B side. They just lent away, gambled in that round. Off the back of that as well, as Blame F comes up through connector, and he often does this on these A splits. Look at his rotate kills. They mollied out Masuta, man. He at least has a position to multi-kill from Jay. They perfect molly two spots, one of them his, and that's the only B player gone. Apex throws himself in. He has to at that point try and hold on. Together all these rounds. If this next rifle round goes their way, for all intents and purposes, complexity are in pole position. So someone's got to make a difference, and that man could be Zai Wu, wanting to take fights, wanting to have a chance to fight on his own terms. Down oh. here in lower, S-Tag mops up Apex and returns us back into a four-on-four four uh, right away. That's a transfer, man. He's just spraying the smoke, trying to catch Sai Wu escaping. Instead, Apex swings out off of it. Harry to solo B again. It's just Masuta alone and Cole. They might have made the right move, the right read in this round. They're actually peeling back. Look like they were ready to go. It's just blame. Bomb retreating through the apartments mid, fully owned by Vitality. They have shocks to hold under, and Zaiwu watching the top side. It's a nice setup for Vitality in this four on four, but it leaves one man per bomb site. Luckily, the bulk of the play is coming through mid, coming to them. Oh no, shocks moving. He's activating, turned backwards was his teammate. S Tag needs no support. The anti-flash player and him back up. Nato was never even spotted. You saw the bomb, but that's it. Which way is it going? Vitality have to guess. Yeah, with that smoke going down at ramp, there's going to be about 20 seconds left by the time it fades. But the bomb's actually Ooh. going back to B. That's because Blame has gotten all this ground. Now he needs to clear out Masuta. If you lose uh -oh. this fight, the bomb was uh -oh. coming to B. Now you've got 25 seconds. You've got to make a play happen, mainly in towards A. So JKS needs no. this kill, and he can't get it. They're out in mid without a paddle, all alone. Nato Safix and the fate of this complexity come back now on his shoulders. 15 seconds. Time is not his friend. And he knows it better than anyone. Trying to make something happen. Trying to make anything happen. But they don't give him the kill. Has oh, to stay. He's got enough time he's for the plot. Zai Wu. No, it does slip away. It's Vitality's round. He misses it by about a millisecond. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad. Kyojin tucking just as tight as he could in the corner. It was enough parry. And that round, that went from bad to worse. The A split would have been fine. Sure, there were two players there. B was Whoa. the weaker option. But both of your split players, both of your solo lurkers lose their gunfights. JKS falls on ramp. Blaine can't get out the B apartment on his own. And then at that point, Point, you're just trying to recover the round you're just trying your best and half a second is the answer is the solution for vitality it's kept them up on 50. Right, i really thought he had it as well yeah <laughs> that like was it. So, so close, close. Okay, they're trying to change the pace again, I but like Vitality have also stepped it up. They've taken Palace away from the get-go. Blame F is playing around this con Ooh. smoke from the beginning of the round, and Poison is already down short, liking what he sees at B, but they lose JKS oh, at round. No. Blame dies on his A-Lurk, and complexity. All these rounds, the, the illusion of a comeback, and it might be nothing more unless someone can make a difference. Will they clear Shoxi? Are they ready for this man? Yeah. Yes, they are. It's a three on three and they've reopened a chance to keep this comeback going yeah but you're not saving this one so i will saving the day instead plucks s tag out of thin air 2v3 locking it down using all the util you can but you don't want to be caught without gun in hand boost up for nato poison with the orb he has been the hero of this series for complexity and he's got to hold strong now more than ever yeah they're flooding out nato is dead poison's got to do it all and wrap from the market that kill seals the deal vitality they pick it back up they deny the comeback run to complexity and they stop them in their tracks taking this series